Hello viewers, learners, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to PMS Edu Dax Toxin Training. Dear viewers, if you are really watching the first time, subscribe, hit all button for your future notification and decide this is the right platform to accumulate positive information, suggestion, ideas. Dear viewers, I have requested all my videos. Why don't you spread the news to the globe and the society where you live? Dear viewers, if you like all my content, give past you temp and past you command and even you can suggest the content I am ready to prepare. Today's topic is journey of knowledge, understanding learning as a dynamic process as an outcome. I am going to introduce with example what is process, what is outcome. Learning is a process. Learning is a dynamic process in which through the individual acquire knowledge, skill or understanding. As the process, it involves the exposure to the new information, active management and the transition of the existing knowledge. For example, one who is trying to ride a bicycle, he need to concentrate on the process of balancing, pedaling and he has to cooperate with the moments. This is the way we need to follow the rules and regulation and the structure of learning communication skill. First, we need to listen to the podcast and we should imitate and we need to act according to the podcast or even if you like to follow the non-native speakers or native speakers YouTube channels, react as they do and build vocabulary and read loud it and try to communicate in English, think in English, follow the rules and regulation of the grammar and trying to build conversation practice and get to know the pronunciation. These are the few rules and regulation, the journey of learning process. As an outcome, in the results of the process, it changes the life of a particular person, the miserable changes in character and in his behavior and in his activity. Uh, example of, you know, cycling, a person who is concentrating on cycling, the outcome is he ride without falling down. In the result of he can ride the long distance, he could concentrate on the way he drive. That is the outcome. If he started to do the process of communication skill, of the process, the outcome is you are fluent, you can enrich the vocabulary expansion and you could listen comprehensions and you can practice for public speaking and you can you know do the hands-on activities while speaking or while teaching. So these are the few things about the outcome and the process. So dear viewers, I've given the example of the process and outcome for the communication skill. If you do the process in result, 
you may become the fluent. And for the processing is to get to know the formation of questions. Question tag, open-ended questions, past in negative questions. And we're supposed to know for answering the particular questions. If you know the process, the outcome is we're able to answer anybody's question, even in the public or in the private. So this is mean to say the processing of learning language or the journey of acquiring knowledge and the outcome is you are fluent in English. So dear viewers and learners, first start with the process. In the end, the result is outcome the active engagement in problem solving. If a person learns mathematics, he is supposed to concentrate on the rules and he has to analyze the problems and the solution. Knowing that he shouldn't memorize the mathematics rules. He has to go and find the solution for it. That is a way for learning a language First, we start with the process. See, for the learning the new culture or the learning the new communication skill, it's not a joke. You should spend some time and do the process. Should not wait for the per perfection. Start today and do the process. The beginning stage, you have the struggling in grammatical grammar or building a vocabulary or framing a sentence structure. This basically may face the beginners. In the outcome, once you get practiced or once you have focused learning English, by the end of the day, you are the fluent, you are the public speaker and you could become a leader. So this is what I'm trying to say, the process and the outcome. Dear viewers and learners, follow what is process, what is outcome. Dear viewers, if you have enough time, go back all my videos and watch. And ready to tune for 40 days of challenges in communication skill. Do you wish weekly five days kindly tuned after 7.30 PMS Edu Toxin Training is going to make you comfort learning English. Do you wish really happy that you are sparing your valuable time. Spare daily minimum 15 to 20 minutes and practice by you and try to frame your own sentence and try to build your communication skill. If you want to convey any message to your friends or co-workers or anybody, try to think in English and start to speak in English. The beginning, you may struggle to speak, but don't worry. Keep grinding, keep practicing and keep speaking in English. That is a way to process and outcome. Dear viewers, thanks for watching.